Well, hello. Good morning, challengers. This is Dr. Sam Bakhtiar, the creator of Six Week Weight Loss Challenge. And today is day number 11. And today I'm going to talk to you about the art of losing weight. Well, the art of losing weight is losing fat and keeping the muscle. That's it. You have to lose the fat and keep the muscle. I mean, if you starve yourself and go run and don't eat anything, all you're gonna do is gonna lose weight, but you also will lose contractile tissue, you will lose muscle. And why is that bad? Because muscle drives metabolism. The more muscle tone you have in your body, the faster your metabolism uh, is. One pound of muscle burns an extra 50 calories per day. So, I mean, the, the best way to think of it, think about it like this. Have you ever had a fat cramp? No, you haven't had a fat cramp because your fat doesn't contract. But you had a muscle cramp because your muscles contract. That's why, therefore, it burns calories. Now, we're trying to strip away the fat and keep the muscle or maybe build a little bit of muscle. But your body doesn't like to do that because you're basically telling your body two things, to do two things at the same time. You're telling your body to go catabolic, which means breaking things down, breaking the fat down. But you're also telling your body to go anabolic, which means to build muscle and build things up. And your body's like, wait a second. How can you, you know, there, there's no way I can do that. Well, we have been doing it through our program and we, you know, with proper exercise and proper nutrition, you can actually lose fat and maintain muscle tone or even increase muscle tone a little bit. Okay. Now, the key to that is obviously number one, you have to do resistance training. You have to break the muscles down so the protein can be utilized to replace those muscle tissue and those contractile tissues, making it bigger, stronger, and, and all that kind of stuff. Second is eating proper diet, and the most important part of that is eating high quality protein every two and a half hours, bar none, bar, bar none. And not all proteins are created equal. Like the ones that we listed on the, on the, on the FTDI approved proteins, those are the best. Those are, those are the best. You know, and I highly recommend sticking with those. But just so, to, to show you a little bit about what, how proteins are rated, there's something called biological value. It's basically how fast, how good that protein assimilates into your body and is utilized for protein synthesis. Up until about 15 years ago, 15, 16 years ago, the, bi the, the gold standard, the highest biological value protein that we had on Earth was egg protein, which had the biological value of 94. For example, chicken and beef has about 88, fish has about 86, soy has about 68. This is a scale of 1 to 100. So the gold standard was eggs until someone discovered something called whey protein concentrate. Whey protein concentrate then came in with a biological value of 104. And a few, la few years later, someone invented what's called whey protein isolate. The isolate fraction of the whey protein, which has the highest immunoglobulins in the protein. Therefore, now, whey protein isolate has a biological value of 157 to 170. So why is that important to you? Okay, let's just say, let's just say a cool number. You know, 150, biological value of 150 is whey protein. And let's say egg has a biological value of 100. Okay, now you have to, you know, for you to get the same benefit from 10 grams of protein, of whey protein, if you have to eat egg protein, that means you have to, you have to eat 15 grams of protein from eggs. So 15 grams of protein from eggs equals 10 grams of protein from whey. Why is that important to you? Simply about because of calories. Because 15 grams of protein from eggs is going to be 60 calories, right? You know, 10 grams of whey protein is going to be 40 calories. So you can actually eat less calories and have a better chance of losing weight through higher quality proteins. I hope this makes sense to you. I can't wait to see your transformation. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.